percent. Can we do it again? Hello, sees. There we go. I would say that was about a sixty percent, and I'll give that that that's what I'll give y'all today is sixty percent is okay. I do have to say I appreciate the clouds and the rain. I think it's something exceptionally uh, something that I am exceptionally grateful for today. What about you, Shireen? I appreciate the rain because at least I'm not roasting and melting in my apartment. Anybody who has been to my apartment knows how hot my building is. So I am very happy for the rain. So one of the things that is going to be a little bit differently today is that uh, myself and Tureen are going to be on stage as much as possible sitting here as hosts. And that is because of physical accessibility. And so that is uh, something to be mindful of. And we are just going to be very happy here, you know, very good. But I would just like to say hello and thank you for joining us at our opening ceremonies. Once again, we return. Um, very grateful for all of you coming out in this misty, foggy um, day, afternoon. I don't know. I just survived pride. That was six days of nonstop. So now I'm experiencing uh, shame. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Since you know, when? Pride comes before the fall, you know, <laughs> literally, because our next season is autumn. None of you are okay. <laughs> All right, comedy. <laughs> Can I get the hook? You know the hook. <laughs> I'm in my flop era, apparently. Um, but we would like to firstly welcome up, um. Sanaquila and Mary Point to introduce and welcome us into this space. Um, and we need microphone. Yes. Microphone. Everyone give it up for Dave. There we go. We love Valley Tech here. performing as well. Hot squail, eoch tenoya, sanakwala, kuyensna, tenat gentla, slahan, ochomeo, e chetwa, etiti, teste tuoch, ochomeo, lam, chet, tla, schuhotmesh, humat squiam, slawataf, ta hanhan, ta shkwen, ta one out to her I know hey chase CM Chenquin Mantomia quiz not lax a to T T seats a of tense equator a say I hope you had Chenquin Mantomia I just wanted to share with you just a very small piece of one of our languages of these lands here our families of Musqueam Squamish and Tsleil-Waututh um, we have, for myself from the Squamish Nation, speakers of the Squamish Snajim, and our relatives of Musqueam and Tsleil-Waututh, um, traditional speakers of Hunk Kamitnam. And so it's very um, moving throughout many of our generations. We have not been allowed to even hear um, say a greeting to our relatives in our own language. So it's really special to be able to bring our relatives here together and to share these words. Um, I wanted to share with you um, a small piece about how we introduce ourselves as often we might introduce our family members or our villages that we come from. Um, I just gave you the little quick version. <laughs> um, but I was just saying that uh, my family comes from a village of Slahan as one of our villages. Um, and also that um, it gives me really good feelings in my heart to be able to see each and every one of you here tonight. Um, and just giving thanks, um, and it's really exciting. Um, I've been with Vines for, I guess, um, five years maybe now, so I'm really excited every year to come back and um, really uh, feel a uh, part of family with everyone here. So thank you all. Um, I'm Sanakwa. Hoichoka. Haichika, kutanasie, Sanakwa, Haichika. Each while, asiam nasieya and the Mary Point, 
tenitsa na homatquem, a meetsap quat quilum, ichla suclas. Honored visitors, in the language of my ancestors, I thanked my dear friend and relative, Sinaquila, and I welcomed you uh, in the language of my ancestors, which is slightly different, but I love to hear Sinaquila talk because my, ta uh, my grandmother, um, was from, was from Squamish Nation, and she was one of the last fluent language speakers. And uh, whenever I hear Sinaquila talk, I feel love. I feel love. And with me, uh, my nephew, with me, my nephew, Suklas, that's his traditional name, and we know him as Manny, and he'll be uh, sharing a performance with you later. Um, Right here, Ia to E, we are standing in a place that my family called Stituak. And um, in Squamish Nation, it's slightly different uh, pronunciation. But uh, for us, the most important thing about these places, and as Sunakula said, using our language, rooting our feet into the ground, remembering that our elders, our ancestors, our families lived here in what is known as this park and were forcibly removed from their homes here in a place where we thrived and lived happily. And so when we walk through this park, I want you to remember uh, where we were. Uh, Cease and Sunakula do great walks through the park that share about the way that we lived when we're here. But even in this area, look for the marks on the trees of where our ancestors pulled the cedar. Look for the, be mindful of where you walk and remember this is where they once walked and where many of them now rest. And, and they're here with us and I really, really feel close to them when that happens. So Haichka um, Vines Festival uh, for inviting me to stand with you tonight. I'm very happy to be standing with my nephew. Last year he went on a big swim and uh, <laughs> it took forever to come out of that performance art and I was standing on the shores worried for him. So I'm very happy. <laughs> to have him here. Um, do you want to say a few words before we sing something? Uh, sure. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I guess I'll just say hi, uh, Chka, hi, Tsepka, um, and hi, Chka, Auntie, for introducing me. Um, she mentioned uh, Suklas, which was my great, great uh, grandfather's name. Um, and I want to say hi to you, Sanakula. Uh, it's really good to see you. Um, and I want to say thank you all for coming um, on this cloudy, kind of rainy day. <laughs> um, because it means a lot to me when we have a lot of people here to witness what we're doing today. And um, yeah, I'll say more when when my, my, my time comes, but I just want to say hi, Tsefka, and welcome to you all. Are you going to talk? Sure. Either one. Asiam Nisiaya, Tietz Nihai, Shkwalu and Siti, hi, Tsefka, Asiam Nisiaya. I have the privilege of being your caterer and setting the table for you today for the brilliance that is amongst us. And it's my honor and my privilege to do so. And just to let you know what's on the menu, we've got some Big Heart Bannock, we've got some elk meatballs and some bison meatballs, as well as some sweetgrass cranberry gastrique that goes on either the bannock or the meatballs. Um, and then we have some Soapberry soda that's guava infused, as well as a rose hip lemonade, a love me lemonade, which is by Raven and Hummingbird, <laughs> um, but also with lemons and um, organic honey. So just to let you know what's on the table over there when they're ready to serve you. Hi, it's got Sam Nisi. Hi, it's Love you. Love you. I just want. Hold on. Uh, so I'm really, really thankful uh, to have my cousin with us uh, catering. And I'm wondering if we could just all just do a big thank you by all lifting our arms up really high. <laughs> love you so much. Yes, love you, love you, love you.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's high it's okay. mm, Lots of love <laughs> in that food over there. Mm -hmm. um, oh, here. Okay, it's an aquila. Um, do you mind if I sing a little yeah. bit of our paddle song? I'm going to sing, uh, share uh, our Musqueam paddle song. It comes from my great uncle Dominic Point, his traditional name, Tiak, that. Uh, it's a song that we sing when we're entering a new community to let people know we're coming with good intentions. It's also a song that we sing when we're standing in our community to share a little bit of who we are. And it's a song that we sing at the beginning of any new journey, a wedding, a funeral, a graduation, or days like today as uh, this festival and this beautiful evening gets underway. I'll also be singing it uh, today in particular for a young nephew who's passed away and is beginning a journey of his own this evening. Usually, um, when I came, uh, I usually kind of have a song in mind, but sometimes just feeling uh, how things are, I sometimes change my mind. So um, I was at first thinking of uh, sharing our greeting of the day because um, here within Stanley Park, there are so many villages. Um, and just even hearing the name Stanley Park, it just it sits so wrong in me of, of having colonizers' names being placed on our land, whereas um, for our languages, we really look at the trees, we look at um, what our animals or what the seasons change through our observations and our uh, connections to the land. And so um, just as I was sitting here listening to this song, it um, just uh, for some reason brought to mind one of our salmon songs. And um, I've been really excited just even on social media, seeing some of our families um, up in the valley just fishing already. And people are going back to uh, fish camp this year. And it's something uh, that I kind of fear um, within my children's generation that we're going to lose. And so um, just being here and seeing it's a little bit of a cloudy day, um, I just wanted to share, uh, just made me for some reason think I really wanted to share a song that's um, appreciating our sokwe, our salmon. So uh, this is a song that was in, um, it was kind of uh, written the text in, um, in some of our Squamish language um, 
records through anthropologists and then it was only in the last number of years that we had people who were actually able to read uh, the musical notes and it was brought back to life because uh, through residential schools and through colonization we're not allowed to um, pass these songs language teachings on so there's always small pockets in our community where we're able to hold on to um, small bits of language and um, little bits of who we are. So this song, um, I think it was sang a few years ago actually with Vines, um, with Celia and Quige. Uh, but I always loved hearing the song and then um, I would like to sing it to my daughter. She's six now, but when she was little, I liked singing it as kind of like a lullaby. Mm -hmm. um, so it's talking about, um, also we saw a really big fluffy <laughs> crow earlier just over here in the grass. It was putting a performance on, so it was part of the show tonight. <laughs> even if we didn't know. Um, so the song is about a raven and it's clawing at the, uh, you know, when you watch the salmon doing their spawning, going up river, the sam uh, this raven is trying to poke and uh, poke the eyes out of this um, salmon. So it's kind of a playful song and um, it's just one that I felt I wanted to share with you all tonight. So thank you. I don't know if it was ravens or crows, but I heard them joining in on the song as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, so, yes, give a round of applause. The story with the crow is that it made itself really fluffy and really big and was like wobbling. And I was like, oh no, it's hurt. I think we should help it. And I got close and it depuffed and like walked away. And it was like, oh, it was faking it. It was faking it to get fed. And it was like, sees Sanako, and we were, we were all, sees was like, be very careful. And then I get a little bit closer, and the crow was like upset that I got close. And then it dropped the act and walked away. And I was like, a pre performance for us. Okay. So just so you know, crows are actors. Um, we're just going to do some quick little housekeeping, real quick, before our next act is up. I'm going to throw it to Tareen. So one of the things that Vines has is accessibility. We have color communication tags, which are meant to communicate and comfort level with interaction. You are invited to take a tag, a green one for anyone can speak with me, yellow, my friends can chat with me, red, please no one talk to me. You can pick these up at the information booth over there. Thank you. Um, for social media, please take photos and videos and tag us at at Vines Festival or hashtag Vines 2022 um, for the social media perusing. Uh, one of the ways that that can really help out is we have all of the artist tags. So if you take videos and you're like, oh, no, I can't tag the artist. Don't worry. We'll repost it and take the artist and it'll be a good time. Oh, yeah. We're going to make sure everyone's tagged all of the fun times but also our whole programming is available on the website and so that is a really cute way to get to know some of the artists information and their full names 
Um, I would also like to thank all of our individual donors that have supported us over the years. If you are able to, we really appreciate the donations. The festival is free and we rely on donations to keep on going. And you will receive, guess what, a charitable tax receipt and donations will go directly towards our Artist Survival and Healing Fund, which provides artists... Uh, in need of emergency support, healing support, and supplies for the creative craft with very little barrier. They let us know, and we give them the money. That's it, plain and simple. And it's helped several many artists in the community. Uh, there's Q uh, QR codes at the info booth. Um, the info booth is being run by, from what I see, Simran and Marcelo and our lovely volunteers for today. So it's a white tent over there. You can also find uh, hydration and water and lovely t-shirts for sale. 40 bucks a pop, but they've got our gorgeous artwork that is done by Valen Onstein, Zion Greenbull, and Solomon Chinaque. Um, the, oh, the girls are fighting. The crows are fighting. Of course the crows are fighting because uh, we're taken away from their attention. On with the show. The survey. We have a survey. And there's a written one over at the information booth or there's one online. And you can fill it out. If you fill it out, the survey will give you a chance to be entered into a draw for $50 cash. These surveys support us in our funding and future planning of the festival. So thank you in advance. We also would like to thank our funders. Let's see how quickly I can do this. <clears throat> thank you to Vancouver Foundation, can Canadian Heritage, no, I'm not gonna do it fast. I'm gonna do it nice and slow for ASL. Yeah, I'm gonna think about accessibility usually. <clears throat> thank you to Vancouver Foundation, Canadian Heritage, Canada Council of the Arts, BC Arts Council and Gaming, the City of Vancouver, Vancouver Parks Board, Trout Lake Community Center, and Disability Alliance BC. Our media sponsors are Create Astur and Georgia Strait. Production sponsor is the one and the only Valley Tech. And our beverage sponsor is Gayaka. So that's the Yerba Mate drinks. And the inside joke is that we wish uh, Valley Tech and the Yerba Mate logos were the biggest because they are what kept us running over the years. Now, on to the actuality of the shows. Please give it up for Mabel Nahaney and Squalapt. All right. Hot squal tanoyap to sahloit kui kushamein, Mabel Nahaney, kui ansna. Hello, good day, everyone. Uh, my ancestral name is Tsakhloit, and my English name is Mabel Nahaney. I am honored here today on our ancestral Squahopmish, Tsleil-Waututh, and Musqueam territories, and thank you to the people who are allowing us to uh, express some of our cultures here today. Osiam. Hello, my name is Squaltapish, or Squalt for short. Um, I'm from the Stadtlimkitsch na Nation uh, in Lillooet, BC. I will be performing the men's fancy war feather dance, and Mabel will be performing the fancy shawl. Let's go, yeah. <laughs> um, we'll take turns dancing. I'll dance to a song, she'll dance to the next song. Um, but keep your kids off the dance floor, please. I don't want to kick anyone today, so. Yeah. <laughs> 
too. Thank you so much. Um, is there one more? Two more? OK, great. I'm a flop. Give it up. <laughs>
So the next song that we will be sharing is a round dance song. So we're going to be encouraging the audience to come and join hands and dance with us. So don't be shy. Come on out. Come on, come on. Let's do this. Arash, come here. I see Arash. I'm going to volunteer to tell people. I see Salem. Salem, come here. Um, who else do I see? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's round dance. It's good for the kids. Real sacred. Let's do this.
That was a workout. I was an observer, though. I would just like to say that uh, some of the food is available to graze on if you are so hungry. One this, more. one more song. One final one. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's let's do it. But also feel free to grab some food as you need. Okay. Another, another round then. Oh, are you gonna join us? I did. <laughs> you did, yes. <laughs> Before we introduce our next artist, we would just like to highlight that we have a craft table with Sarisa Fitzjames over here, who's doing some live art over there as we speak. That's super fun. Um, and then we also have, drum roll please, some really cool installations by some local artists, one of which is by Randall Bear Barnettson. This piece was created in appreciation of the life givers near, which is just over there to the left of us beside the sound booth. For they have the ability to create and give life to those around them, to be square, forgive me Randall if I screwed it up, sunshine to one's heart. The teachings of my elders have 
always emphasized respecting and uplifting women in our communities, and especially in leadership. Women have an inherent strength, resilience, and wisdom. For these reasons and more, our indigenous communities on the Northwest Coast are matriarchal and appointed traditional leadership to women. So we raise our hands in honor of those who exemplify these traits and bring life and light to our families and communities. Thank you, Randall. I hope you're here somewhere. There you are. Thank you. I was eating because the food is really good and I realized I haven't ate, ate until like from since this morning. So I'm doing a really terrible job at making sure that I'm watching my own body uh, needs. That being said, please do what you need to take care of yourself in this space. It's rainy. Uh, we've got food. We've also got some things to drink at the info booth also. Really fun. Our next artist came up to me earlier today and said, please do not read my whole bio. And that's because it is a entire manuscript. It's about 200,000 pages long. But if we could all please give a very warm welcome to my friend, Manuel Axelstrain, one of the funniest people I know. Hello, everyone. There we go. Hi, hello. Okay, I'm not going past those two speakers. So, you know, I had this like crazy idea of what I was gonna do today, and then my Auntie Mary um, introduced me as uh, Suklast. Um, and as I mentioned before, that was my great great uh, grandfather. Um, what I didn't mention was that it's on my mom's side. And so my dad is from down here, uh, Masquiam, but my mom is Shekletmok um, and Si'ilch. And the Shekletmok side is where the Suklast name comes from. So I thought I would start by showing everyone uh, the book that my grandpa wrote. So my grandpa, Harold Eustache, uh, wrote this book and he is one of the last fluent speakers of the language out there. He lives in a little place called Chuchua, which is outside of Barrier. And his parents were Christine and Manuel Eustache. So not only does my uh, traditional name come from this branch of my family, my actual like English name comes from that branch of my family, Manuel. So Suklast was Manuel's dad. So I'm gonna sit down um, in a chair. <laughs> Don't worry, there's lots of chairs here. And I'm gonna sit in the tent. Yeah, I'll join you over there. I can hold it a little closer, he says. Tareen says I need a towel, but the other thing I was thinking today is that although my name comes from the interior, I'm pretty used to the weather here and I actually enjoy the rain. Um, so. I'm also going to take off my shoes and ground myself with the grass before I start reading. Oh, and there's a dog. Whose dog is this? What's the dog's name again, Jazz? I can't remember. Hide. Everyone say hi to Hide. Hi, Hide. That's nice. There we go. So I just um, have a little page here from it that I'm going to read. A little excerpt. And this is from chapter six 
A shoe swap journey. Salmon fishing. Back on their trails. They only took the animals that could be consumed on the trail. Everyone had to carry their share of supplies to the summer camp, including the dogs. If a deer was taken, the meat would be divided up and the hide would be left hanging on a tree to be picked up another time on the way home. At Helmore Lake, the trail went down the mountain and came out a black pool and then back to the larger Simk North Thompson River in English. This was the only point in which the North Thompson had to be crossed. Before reaching the summer camp, some, some young men had paddled to the Simk by canoe from the main village at Chuchua. A day and a half travel. The four canoes that had been brought. Did you say something? Tareem's talking, not me. <laughs> <laughs> the four canoes that had been brought would be used for the crossing. Some of the men that got there by canoe were joined by whoever had arrived early. They got busy and built a couple of rafts to be used for transporting the camping gear across the river. The older, more experienced women were first to cross so that a temporary camp may be set up for the one or two day stay, depending on the need to gather food to disdain the troops for the remainder of the journey. Once on the other side of the river, there was a fair amount of socializing between families, particularly if a deer or two was brought in. Plus, there was the opportunity to spear spring salmon in the main simk. Once on the other side, Tekemp Eme thought it was early for the spring salmon run at the Black Pool. But there was an opportunity to spear spring salmon, or two, once on the other side of the river. When they arrived through, Tekeme could see there were only a few fish in the river. The run had just started, but the fish were a good source of sustenance. And some of the other braves caught a few on the first day, along with the deer mate they had eaten along the way. There had been plenty of food during this trip, and everyone was feeling good and healthy. So that's a little of my grandpa's book. At the time, he was 67, had 14 brothers and sisters, and only five were remaining when he wrote the book. Today, there is only one left. My grandpa had five children, three boys and two girls, and eight grandchildren, one of which is me. He says, my first wife, Marie, died in 1991. I was a baby. I now reside in Abbotsford, married to Jan, who has two sons. I was raised on the Simk North Thompson Reservation, a division of the Shukletmok, Shushwap Nation. So, I think about salmon a lot. You know, Sinaquila mentioned salmon today as well. And she mentioned a fear of her children not being able to see that, or her grandchildren being able to see salmon the way we see them, or the way my parents saw them, or the way that my grandparents saw them. And I know in my lifetime, there is a place in Shikletmakulu where there was a landslide, and that year, only one salmon made it back to the spawning grounds. And if there's only one salmon that makes it back to the spawning grounds, then it's not gonna go any longer. Those salmon grounds are, are gone. So, I also hear funny stories that there were so many salmon up in the interior, all the way down here to the coast, that you could just basically pick them out with your hands. So I really want everyone to think about that. Think about the salmon, and the salmon, which I'll say Tareen mentioned to me at one point, was our economic system. And so, I think what we've learned in the past 
I don't know, my lifetime, is that if there's a crash in our economic system, it breeds chaos. So if we're in this stage where we recognize that our economic system is being threatened, it's not good. So that's a little bit about my mom's side of the family, but it connects us to down here to where we are today, where we are right now. And the words that came in my mind today were that this place does not forget that there were villages here, that there were people here that have been removed. They were part of my family and other people's family that are here. And it does not forget. That water does not forget. And this water, the water that goes into False Creek, it would have once gone all the way to First and to Clark. First on the other side, past First and up to Clark. And we believe that the shoreline has its own spirit. And so when they block the shoreline, they're cutting that off. And in our lifetime, or my lifetime, the little one's lifetime, That's going to that's going to change because the water will rise and people will be displaced again like they were displaced here like they were displaced on the other side but I have a lot of hope that we'll figure this out and I know there's a lot of people that have that hope that will figure it out in my lifetime, I have seen that salmon, in my very short lifetime, I'll say, that salmon grounds disappear. But I've also seen salmon grounds come back to us. In the Okanagan, where my great, or my great grandma, my great grandpa, and my grandma are from, in Seilch lands, they have done that. The salmon go up the Columbia, and they, they've made it home there. And so I really, really see that changing in my lifetime, that we can all work together to make sure that we're okay through this. And when I was in the round dance, I really felt that. When we hold hands and we dance together, it's a beautiful thing. I could do it all day, to be honest. <laughs> but um, I think that's it. And I once again say hi, Tsap, good to you all. And I look forward to the rest of the show. Thank you so much, Manny. Um, we just have to do some slight maneuvering because of this rain. I'm going to move these right here for you, just on the ground. And that's your bottle of water. Um, <clears throat> yes. Hi. I'd also like to draw your attention back to another installation that is here in the park. And they are um, the banners that you see hanging behind us. And in front of behind you um, the piece is made by Sima Mera hopefully I've said your last name right Sima Sima is an interactive installation artist hello Just a little bit of a problem here. My mic died. So. Seema is an installation artist, and her artwork is a creation 
um, that offers possibility of free expression and social connection in figurative speech that is specific to their mother tongue. Um, I'm getting raindrops on my page, so hopefully it doesn't fade away. This act of writing and sharing is a tangible, performative human experience that has touch, movement, voice, and facial expressions empowering the writer and the reader who translates for a particular collective. In this sharing of perception and oral histories tethered to its culture, this community endeavor began in 2008 as a part of the local car-free festival events. It's an ongoing project that will be a part of the Vines Art Festival platform in August of 2022, something you are experiencing right now. Thank you. Um, okay, thank you. We're just having, because of the rain, and some people not understanding physics, it's okay. Um, our stuff is now all very wet. One of our mics died, but you know what? We will rebuild. <laughs> our next artist is Zocam, which means chickadee and the visitors are coming. Flora Wallace and her family have sung together at family occasions and community events for more than 50 years. After Elder Flora Wallace participated in the Aboriginal Women's Voices Gathering in 1997 at Banff, Alberta, the family decided to expand their efforts to share their culture. It did not take long for Zocam to hit the stage and start recording. The first major concert by Zocam was at the Vancouver Folk Music Festival in the summer of 1997, opening a stage that featured Buffy St. Marie and Keith Solaka. Zocam recorded for the Smithsonian Institution for Silver Wave Records and released three CDs on their own. Since 1997, Zocam has performed at many festivals and concerts, including Folklife in Washington, D.C., Full Circle Concert in Calgary, Alberta, Harrison Arts Festival in Harrison Hot Springs, and B.C., Harmony Arts Festival in West Vancouver, B.C., and many conferences and gatherings. Zocam, under the direction of Russell Wallace, continues to work within the Aboriginal communities and educational communities to teach, share, and maintain the tr a tradition that has been kept alive by dedicated elders. Give it up for Zocam. Kathwa'alap. Ichuwa'el. Hasquayal, Sego, Tanse, Hola. Um, yeah, we are at Sokum. And um, yeah, we sing uh, some traditional songs as well as songs that were created by the group. And uh, yeah, so we're, the first song we're going to sing is a welcome song. <coughs> Yeah. 
Pukstam, uh, thank you. The, the next song we're going to sing is the uh, grandmother song, and it's a traditional song from uh, the Lilwat Nation, and um, it's a narrative song. It's a song that tells a story, and um, the story, it, it's, it's a long story. It's a long story, um, but it, it tells uh, the story of a grandmother who loses her daughter and now must look after the grandchild. And uh, back home in Mount Curry, uh, the, the, the song has a lot of variations and the song has a lot of, I guess, verses you could call them, but um, this, is, this is one of our, our versions that our mom, Flora Wallace, had taught us. Thank you. I have to look at my cheat sheet here. Oh, it's a dance song. Do we have any dancers here? <laughs> <laughs> Don't jump up all at once. Um, okay, so this is a dance song. It's called Zumak. And Zumak means spring salmon. And so this song talks about uh, the sp salmon coming back up the river, um, like Manny was talking about earlier, the salmon are coming back. Um, and so, yeah, the first word is uh, spring salmon. The second one is zawam, which means catching the fish. And on the Fraser in Lillooet, uh, we catch the fish with a dip net. So it's a long 10-foot pole with like a basketball hoop net at the end, and then we dip it into the Fraser and... Hopefully there's salmon in the net when you pull it up. Um, the next one is, word is weekum, which means cutting, cutting and preparing fish for, uh, to be, to be wind dried. So in Lillooet, yeah, we, that's all we did is, you know, in the summer was catch fish and wind dry it. So we have an abundance for the winter time. So uh, weekum, wind dry or cutting for wind dry. Uh, and the last word is eatlin, and uh, eatlin means to eat. 
And um, yeah, this is how I eat salmon. It's like <laughs> sushi. Um, so yeah, uh, Zumac. Can you say Zumac? Zumac. <laughs> Good. Next, can you say Zalum? Zalum. And can you say Weekum? Weekum. And Ethlin. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got four words in the Statlium language. Yeah, we'll, a couple of more weeks you'll be fluent. Um, so, yeah, uh, are you going to dance? Or? <clears throat> I guess there's no dancing in the rain today. <laughs> song is uh, called Journey.
Bookstum. The next, next song is, uh, we, we call it the poverty song because it, it's an old song from Mount, Mount Curry and uh, it talks about uh, having nothing to eat like, and having no shoes on your feet and you're walking a long distance and you, know, you find the backbone of a fish and that's all you have to eat. So, you know, and, you know, there are days like that, you know, <laughs> even now it's like, okay, what do I got to eat in the cupboard? Well, maybe a backbone of a fish. Um, but yeah, so like, you know, there are tough times, you know, today, but like even uh, back a long time ago when we lived off the land, sometimes the land was uh, in going through something and didn't feed us enough or we didn't pay attention to the changes and we lost out. So, uh, yeah, this is an old song from Mount Curry. <clears throat> This one is a berry picking song. Oops. Play bone game. 
No. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, so this is a Bone Game song. It comes from Aboriginal Women's Voices, which was a project that was uh, uh, directed by Sadie Buck from Six Nations. Sorry, I'm trying not to talk too fast. I see we have ASL. Thank you, Hookstum, for ASL. Um, Sadie Buck, she was the director of Aboriginal Women's Voices. And uh, my mom and my sister Joyce were participants. And uh, the idea was to bring Indigenous women from all over Turtle Island to come together share some of their traditional songs and create new ones based on those forms. And so this is one of the new ones that came out of that. It's a bone game song. And if you don't know what bone game is, like a, a game of chance or you got a, you know, there's, <laughs> it's a gambling game. So you have two, you know, two wooden or two bones. One is marked and one isn't. And you have to guess which hand a marked bone is in in order to win the game. So there are two teams. And so this is a song that was inspired by that. And so we'll demonstrate some of the motions in that song, in that game as well. Where you from? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we got the wrong songs too. Um, where you hey, hey, where, 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 Okay. <laughs> Does anybody want a round dance? <laughs> okay, we'll do a round dance.
Let's give a hand to the dancers in the rain. Thank you to the Vines Festival for having us. Uh, thank you for the ASL interpretation. And thank you all for staying with us and uh, enduring this weather. Kukstum. Thank you so much. I'm hosting from here. Tareen is um, under the craft table. I would like to introduce, first and foremost, some of Tareen's installations and artwork. Uh, Tareen Derrick came into the arts both by accident and design. At an early age, Tareen's first foray into the performing arts was puppetry. Tareen's interest in the arts expanded first into drawing and painting, then into video production. In addition, Tareen is also an accomplished MC, public speaker, facilitator, and also sat on government boards as special needs dis disability advisor. Tareen appreciates the medicine of arts in its entirety and is currently focused on personal governance. If you would like to talk to Tareen about her craft, please find Tareen under the info booth. Okay, so for our final um, musical art performance, As the Rain Brings Forth a Crescendo, we have Kin Balam, Kin Folk Nation, and Hampton. Kin, the path, and Balam, Jaguar, translate as the path of the Jaguar. Uh, we also have Kin Folk Nation um, and Hampton. I'm going to get the folks of this to introduce themselves, as it is quite, quite rainy and I am not very good at pronunciation right now. But uh, also, all of my host notes are absolutely soaking wet because of the weather, and we'll roll with that. But uh, we're going to take two seconds for things to be set up, and then it's going to be good times. How does that sound, everyone? How does that sound, everyone? Okay, I'm going to do that one more time, and please make as much noise as you can, okay? How does that sound, everyone? That's better. Um, and because I love myself, I'm going to sit in the A-frame for a little bit. And as the night ends, Heather is going to finish us off. Thank you, everyone.
y'all um i'm just gonna draw everybody who's still here in this pouring rain back in thank you for sticking it out with us my name is hampton um i'd like to shout out my mom in particular thanks mom i love you um i'm just gonna start making music because i feel like people need an entertainment right now it's a little cold <laughs> two more of those and then we'll get Kim Folk up here and Kim Balam. We'll bring up Kim Balam and then Kim Folk and then we'll all jam. I think that's the plan. I just spoiled the surprise but you know. Hey, I always do that.
If our bodies are water and water remembers, then what are you forgetting? If our bodies are water and water remembers, then what did you forget? Why are you worried that you don't know? Because you definitely know. Why are you worried that you don't know? What you definitely know. If our bodies in water, and water remembers, have we ever forgotten anything? I know that it matters. What we think about ourselves, I know that it matters. And I will remember for you. I think I'm gonna tap out and bring up Kin. Balam. Balam, lam, 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 lam. Yo, thanks everybody for being here in this pouring rain to bless this place with us. I'm gonna go listen.
Padiush, thank you. I go by the name of I go by the name of Ken Balam. Ken means the path, Balam means the jaguar. And I come from Central America. I was born in the indigenous territory of Cushcata. And I have Mayan ancestry, I have Lenca ancestry, I have Nahuapululapan ancestry, and a little bit of Spanish. And uh, I think I spent 10 minutes already, so I'll call up kinfolk to come and do what they do. And um, when I come back, we'll mix in some flamenco guitar with Latin jazz and rap and different things, and, and we'll see what we kick up. Badiush. Thank you. And the first song was an honor song to this land right here, to the Coast Salish territory we are on, to the trees all around us, to the spirits, to Tlaloc, to the four elements, to the four directions, to all the deities, to all my ancestors, to all your ancestors, and the healing of each and every one of you. In our culture, in our indigenous culture, whenever we sing, when we dance, we pray for the healing of our people. And we pray for the healing of all people. So thank you very much. We'll see you soon.
Tick, tick, tick. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, 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 tick. 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 Come on now, 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 tick, tick. Come on now, tick, tick, tick. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, 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 tick. Microphone check, tick, 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 tick. Microphone check. Microphone check. This is a uh, this is a uh, Kim Folk Nation. We got trophy here, El Presidente. Oh, we got Glory here. You have to give it up for Glory. Say what's up. <laughs> and Lady Dia, you know you gotta say the lady. The, you got to. <laughs> the wonderful Lady Dia is is the matron of of the Kin Folk Nation. The Kin Folk Nation is just an idea. It's a concept, it's a seed. It's a microphone! Exactly. <laughs> That's the seed. And it comes <laughs> out, and it gets real. And what <laughs> we say is, um, hey, we all, in our way, are engaging with something, something that sounds like freedom. And because we're engaging and, oh. in a way, looking for freedom, oh. one sometimes has to get to a point where you understand that freedom starts in a chaotic way because in questioning it and thinking about it comes a frustration in trying to live it in reality comes with deep frustrations that are scary but when we stand in it like when we stand in the rain something seems to happen something so mysterious so different that reminds us that we are more, that we come to certain spaces not because we want to, but agents of things that we don't see allow us to be here also. So to be on this land is special. Mm -hmm. For us to be here is really special. We are representing stories and tales of Africa and the many Africas and what Africa is going to become also and what Africa is at this point in time. And what that is, is part of the human story. So when you check the human story, you'll always find Africa. So to us, as we begin, we begin what we call the jam. We have not so many words to describe how we feel. So we're just gonna say it in, in a prayer. That you answer, you answer to the truth of who you really are and realize that you're the answer to your prayer.
seated outside outside it wasn't this wet it was hot there was the Okanagan heat and a firebird visited me through a song a sound it had so many words and so many prayers I I couldn't understand it all it felt like this story was a lifetime, so the question was, will you take a lifetime? And man, it looked good. Oof. The firebird flew around me like this sweet melody. Will you take a life? Will you take a life? Will you take a life? Moment after moment, will you take life? And yes, without a doubt, I chose to, to live. And because I chose to live, I sang, I sang to the firebird. But I knew my voice was not so good, so I, I called the best voice that I had. I said, hey, I need help. I want to sing to the firebird. But tonight and today, I sing to the water and to the trees and to the moss and to the ground that we step on. I sing to you all for bringing us here in this very moment to witness whatever we are to witness and for the stories of what we are witnessing to live true in our hearts that we understand that the rain too and the water too is life and when you take a moment to feel it and remember thirst you'll understand that you when you're thirsty you you still want to live and water brings that life and brings it with comfort. So I usher comfort into your life, comfort of whatever you wish, whatever you think, whatever you dream. But most of all, since I don't know all things or, or what prayers you may need or what wisdoms you may need, I say to the universe, Thank you for this moment. Thank you for today. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for each and everyone that's in the field right now. Thank you that, that your people chose to live. Your people, people, us, beings. Just taking a moment. Fly a bird, fly a bird, fly. Oh And so I began to fly a bird sing it slow fly a bird fly fly a bird fly a bird fly a fly a bird fly a bird fly fly a bird Fly a bird, fly like oh, 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 oh. Fly 
Thank you, thank you all, thank you all for, for, yeah, for being alive. Yeah. <laughs> we, we are a family. Um, we're a kinfolk nation, and uh, yeah. Oh yeah. So, I guess the next part of the section is is the beauty of why I think for us, we choose to live also. Is because we fell in love with, uh, we call, well, the jam. And for us, why that's important is we live by uh, Ubuntu. That means I am because you are. And yeah. what that really is, is for her to be, or for me to be, she has to be, and for her to be, in a way, I know I have to be. So my dedication, if I may call it, or devotion is to be. And uh, being in, in this moment is a gift to feel this, to etch this in, in a shared memory space. So to jam is, is to feel what newness feels like, to bring the future and the past together in the now. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so please, you yeah. know, the snipers, please come. Yeah, you just got it. Huh? Say, Hampton, may you please come to the stage? Hampton, you just be down the stage. <laughs> Say, Cuba, no. Cuba, yo, Oh. This is crazy. Yeah, just a good job. I'm going to bring another chair, okay? Okay. okay. Your son can sit. Oh, it's okay. You can sit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. Are you, <laughs> Mr. Dante? Do it then. Yeah. Somewhere. You know that one? Well, glory, glory, yeah. glory. Yeah. yeah? I don't know if you remember me, but yes, you guys I were in America. Yes, <gasps> yes, no, yes. Now about that is the oh. X to my Z to the first power oh, ego. Thank you. thank you, thank you. Come here, Lizzie. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. It's <laughs> a beautiful song. You know what it made me think of? Yeah. The forest fires we've been having in the interior. And now it's raining here, the healing. Right. Forest right. fire, cleansing, yes. Yes. rain. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, thank you. I know, he eh? joined in. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I have to go right now. That's all right. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, I have an announcement before we start this jam. A, y'all are amazing for being here with us still in this pouring rain. Yes. B, I've lost a set of keys. A very important set of keys. They are on a red beaded lanyard that's about four inches long. And they could be anywhere between here and the pool. If you see them, please bring them to us and or me. Thank you. All right. Shall we play? Do you want to start this one? Okay. Start with whatever. 
Yeah. yeah. Just hey. Yeah. yeah. When I just want to be free Why you do this to me? What is it you can't see? We're the same damn being I just want to be free See my people think Deeds. 
Our white judges ignore what they see. Where's the justice for me when the system partakes in the feast? For the fact that I'm brown, I've been criminalized in this town. So the cops are control. Also move with this ignorant soul. Stopping this when they see us with excuses that no one can clean up. Brutalizing my people where the poverty is known to finito. Takataka, 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 Takataka,
I see so many people asking. I said, I see how many voices calling. Uh, I hear so many voices calling. Uh, I said, I hear so many voices calling. I hear so many voices calling. Uh, I said I hear so many voices calling. Uh, I hear so many voices calling. I hear so many voices calling. Uh, I hear so many voices calling. 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 Yeah. So many voices calling. Yeah. So many voices calling. I hope that they know what they're saying to you, and I hope so that you understand. Yeah, I know that you do, yeah, I know that you do. Yeah, I hope that you know what they say into you, all the voices that you could pull from the ether. I know that there are things that we do not want to bring up from bypass, and I know that we definitely do not have the time to be wasting our time and we're round in circles. So I hope that you know what you are hearing and that we find something that is purely healing. Hey, I hope that you know what you are hearing and I hope that it is something purely healing. Yo, I hope that we know that we are hearing and I hope that it is something purely healing. Yo, I hope that we know that we are hearing and I hope that we know what, what we are hearing And I hope that what we hear is something healing I hope that what we hear is something healing So many voices calling So many voices calling So many voices calling So many voices calling Many 
I'm not what you think, I'm hunted by my sins All the darkness I bring will make you hate the kid When I look at the past, I feel the need to run When the soul's outcast, I hated myself too long If I am better today, it's cause I felt the regret That died and all the people I wrecked In the storm of my eyes, I came to see it connect The hurt and pain of my life is always one with the rest Deep in the mess, call me the God, call me the blind The savior, the martyr, the culprit, the shameful, the blameful The broken, the stable, the victim, the tripping, the liquid Vindictive, the wicked, the prison, the metal Killing my life story, it's purgatory No glory in the heart, tired of put internal worrying And knowing it transforms the inner storming, I judge the sorry. Finally reaching forgiveness, but hatred was given. Not feeling the fences of my consequences. For seeking my spirit outside, taking a knife on my soul, sacred healing to rise. I lock up my soul in a dungeon, hunted by murder besides I hide. For twisting the stomach of my sisters and a child. For abandoning my brothers on the path of genocide. For trying to hold down our mothers while I'm drowning deep inside. In creating the wounds of other people at grant. It was no more for them to stand against all that I am. The guilt in my hands, my sentence and band. I'm rebelling bullets to make my capsule of sand. I understand. For everything we put will come back for the soul. And everything we reap is the fruit of the sown. I learned that my sins can one day be reborn. I learned that my sins can one day be reborn. As a great medicine on the road to atone. I learned that my sins can one day be reborn. As a great medicine on the road to atone. I learned that my sins can one day be reborn. As a great medicine to as a great medicine on the road to it. Go slow, take it easy, baby. It's okay. Go slow, take it easy, baby. It's okay to relax for a while, baby. It's okay to relax. We in the trees, baby, and I feel my body, baby, and I know this is special, baby, I am here with you.
Surrounded by the trees and the water, I'm here with you. drums Hampton
This is a ceremony if you haven't noticed. A celebration is how we do it. Say your prayers with intentions. Cause ears are open. Ceremony, celebration. I've said it now. A crack in the illusion is where we find ourselves believing in something more. Thank you for noticing ceremony and celebration. Say your prayer with intention. May your life be full and wonderful. You're required to rest. All is set. We go to the future by being in the past, and now we're in the present, so make your life last. Oh. Make your life count, Joe. Said I run to the future, run to the past, we run to the future, run to the past, I run to the future, run to the past, so make your life last, make your life last, I run to the future, run to the past, said we run to the future, we run to the past, we run to the future, we run to the past, so make your life last, you're required to rest. Hello? Hey. Hi. Um, thank you. Can I have one big round of applause for Balam, Kinfolk Nation, and Hampton for playing the most beautiful music I've ever heard? <laughs> thank you so much. We love you. And thank you, all of you, for staying and hanging out in the rain. Um, I was 
an elder was speaking to me and told me this was a cleansing ceremony the whole evening. So thank you for being a part of it with us. And yeah, get home safe um, and have a good night. And there's more vines to come. So if look at the website. <laughs> it's on until the 13th. And yeah, thank you so much for being here for our opening. <laughs>